you're right. I'm freezing. So you're doing me a favor. I'm yeah, I in that old chair. Get out of that. <laughs> My neck is cold. Alright, you, when you at any point can pick up trot, and when you are uh, ready to do so, I'll start it. I gotta watch the whole fourth quarter of the Warriors game in my garage and work out. What? Uh, uh, work out last night. Oh, last night. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, This one's fun. Then Avi made a sourdough bruschetta with the or organic aid on top. Oh my god. Mushroom confit and, uh, and then a salad that's gonna take me four days to eat. Oh yeah. I had a burrito the other day and it hadn't felt good since, so I've been trying to <laughs> eat better last night. And nothing this morning. I was trying to fast to make myself feel better. Yeah. I didn't realize a burrito would do me in. Yeah. Um, oh, man. I tell you, don't, don't, I just, I can't process. Uh, but the Amigos uh, Fajitas Quesadilla is good. It's a light. Yeah. Is it lighter? Well, there's a lot of bell peppers and onions, so it's actually good for you. Get it in the salad form without the bowl or the just the fajitas. Yeah. Uh, and don't put the tortillas with it. Oh, oh like stir fry. It's like yeah, yeah. it's like stir fry. Yeah. Yeah. And that's not it, it made me feel sick, but uh, me a fever and got me one. Yeah. One day and that's, it ever since. that's nice of her, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't do the bump even if I do shrimp. Yeah. Okay. But carnitas with fried pork, shredded pork, that's pretty hard. Or whatever meat you got. You need to kick her. Make sure you're pushing in your hip and you're not tipping forward a little. You sit almost back and drive her into the bend. And you can spiral her out a little. Like, yeah, really put that left spur on until she actually gives down to it. There you go. Change your posting diagonal. hold it I like that you that was your moment of giving that to her for the release let's do a change of direction after she gets her stuff together try to remember the diagonal this time good good really push her off the right hold that rein up in the corner of her mouth Really push your shoulder to the fence there. Yep, there, there, much better. Good. And then the straightness. And in the straightness, tell her she's got to stay on the bit. Yeah, a little left and right. There, that's it. Amazing to me what bits can do for freedom. I mean, Abby's handling this much like this is much better than the lessons we were even having in the dressage court. So, in the grand scheme of things, we're way past a one percent improvement. But so, what's the thought process when you go from the segunda to the uh, boucher? Um, I didn't. I told uh, Abby that I'm being a horrible person and forgetting. I remember, like, I updated Sam on the boucher change from uh -huh. the snaffle late, oh. so she had to ride in the snaffle one more time. And then I haven't told Sam that we have been riding in the Segunda. Okay. Uh, and what do you notice differently from the Segunda to this? Uh, she's, oh, Frida's just willing to lean into this one more. Like Abby's asking ah. her to bend. And yeah. instead of giving down, she's trying to, see how her mouth is opening yeah. a little? Yeah, yeah, She's trying to find ways to evade the pressure because the pressure doesn't mean much to her. Like, she's willing to fight against it a little bit more than she is with the Segunda. Where, where she leans it, wakes it, it up. Yeah, yeah. She, it, like, yeah. gives her a little wake-up call, and then okay. she Good. Uh, is like, oh, yeah. okay, I should be leaning on that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So it just completely takes the thought out of her mind. We're here. Abby's yeah. having to work every literal minute, every second, to keep her. And what would I say about that? Uh, it's going to make her a better writer. It is. <laughs> That's so, what I thought you were going to say, and then yeah. I was like, but I don't want to get it wrong. 
No, of course you do. Because I look at it, and that's what that video was about. All that yeah. stuff was to make her a better rider. Right. And it's hard. And her timing. I mean, like, yeah. it's more fun to ride freedom when she feels like that. And then we got to work on her a little bit with the sitting trot and the no stirrups and, like, the yeah. forward and back. And, like, her gaits just looked insanely good. Yeah. Like, we know that that will come back just with training, not even just with the bit. Right. So it's nice... But it's nice to see your timing with but everything. We'll compare this to two weeks ago. Yes. You're not going to be I'm happy saying. about this? No, I am. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good this... with your right leg. Really good. So, yeah. And that's the whole point. You're teaching the parents if yeah. they want to listen. Yeah. You're not just teaching us. on the bend behind the saddle and the forward and what trot you're in, which you've been acing, so that's fine. But she's not giving down when you pull on the reins, is she? Like when you take the rein, instead of giving down, she's trying, she argues. She's a little like, she opens her mouth. I can see her ignore uh, the bend. I can see her ignore when you say that she needs to get rounder as she stays straighter. So we're going to exaggerate the give down, but change direction by stretching. And you're going to keep asking her that she's got to give until she reaches the floor. And that when you touch the rein, that's what you're asking her for, right? That's the, the use of stretchy trot. If you can make a circle, she starts to feel like a runaway freight train. Change your posting diagonal. Oh my God. You're doing good, I think. I guess I wasn't really paying that much attention, but. Good. Good. Now, don't let her lock back on the range. She's gonna try. We're gonna shorten the contact, and you're gonna keep using the aids that you just asked her to get into that nice stretchy trot to stay low in the base of her neck and, and re respectful in the frame as you pick her back up to working. Tell her, what if I asked you to stretch again? I'm asking you for right bend, but what if I also ask you to stretch again? Yep, there, better. Good. That right leg on to push her away, not just the rein. Just a little half halt step in your seat if she's trying to run past it. Good for you. That's super. Good, good, and another change of direction. Got 30 seconds left. Keep gathering your reins. We're gonna ride the last 30 seconds collected to the left and see if still thinking about that you can add the aid that says still stretch down, right? You're good at stretchy trot. That means you're good at listening when my reins say to give down. 